What's up players, it's Jack from Tell Let's Play here bringing you a video a little bit different today. Uh, thankfully due to uh, the lovely people at Evil Controllers, they actually sent me a uh, controller for me to review. Uh, it's just a review model, so, you know, I have to send it back and, uh, well, send it back after I've done this video. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a little unboxing and then a review. It uh, There's not too much to review uh, because it hasn't got any modded performance on it. Uh, it's just in terms of textures. Uh, so in the box you get the controller obviously and you get this which is uh, a pretty cool thing actually you know going with the digital age and all that less less paper the better so you go online download your instructions although you don't really need instructions for this particular model and uh, you can see where good controls go bad and there's a little evil ID there uh, so it's pretty cool packaging fits very tight and secure no problems uh, you know getting damaged while it's getting shipping uh, getting shipped. So uh, here's the controller. Let me show it up to you nice and close this size. So this is the Blue Tiger for PS3 controller. As you can see all white aesthetics are on the buttons. Uh, there is no um, select or start like uh, text. There is right and left. Maybe I'll see that. Um, and there's obviously no uh, you know symbols on there. There is the one and the two engraved on there. So let me just show you all round on the uh, the whole thing, there's the side, the back, pretty plain. None, none of that. Uh, you know, a little bit of information. I'll show you the default controller in a minute. Uh, so let me just grab that now. All right. So uh, I'll just do a little bit of a comparison. So there's the front, as you can see, you got all the symbols on this one. And this one, uh, you don't. And then look at the sides and the back. So this is what I was talking about. You don't have any of that rubbish on here. Nice and plain. The controller looks absolutely awesome. The colours are really, really good. Hopefully they don't get drained out in the video. The white is, you know, really white. Um, now let's uh, let's talk about the performance because there is a slight couple of things to talk about. And uh, when you, I've noticed when you click down on the analogs, when you click down on these ones, they're a bit sort of weird. And uh, I don't know if you guys can do this in your controller. Being sort of like pull these out on there, sort of, they're a bit. I don't know, they feel not very well fitted. On this one, however, I don't know whether it's because it's new or not, but they feel really solid and uh, secure. And you'll see that when you rotate, you can actually sort of see inside the controller a little bit, which you don't notice on these ones. Um, but just a heads up, you know, it doesn't, it's not going to come out or anything, and you can't do that pull up thing that I can do on the default one. But they feel really, really good. Uh, the buttons, now these, they, they press slightly differently to a normal one. Um, I don't know if you can, probably can't tell, um, so you may be worried about that, but I assure you, uh, I assure you that uh, it's fine, I've been playing for about two days on sort of FIFA 13 and Modern Warfare 2, testing out the performance, um, and there's no difference whatsoever, uh, like literally, it's uh, completely fine, um, it, it feels a little bit different to start off with uh, when you're pressing them, but it doesn't make any difference to your gameplay or to performance. D-pad feels pretty normal as always, and these buttons feel normal as well. So that's all good. Uh, let me demonstrate that the control freak, for those of you that have them, these things, uh, they do fit on uh, pretty easily and as normal on these ones. So yep, it is control freak compatible, which you would assume, because I'm pretty sure the analogs are exactly the same. Um, let's talk about the triggers. The triggers here are exactly the same as the triggers on here pretty decent and that's pretty much it I mean uh, the controller looks absolutely fantastic and I'd highly recommend you go buy one of these because they really are you know they look so much better than these default ones and I'm gonna miss it when I have to send this back actually uh, it has to be said maybe I'll buy one uh, we'll see uh, but go check them out guys uh, even if you're not looking to buy one because maybe you don't really want to buy one but um Go check them out. Go check them out. All the uh, all the designs they have. They've got 360. Uh, they've got Xbox 360. They've got PS3 in just sort of custom painting, and you can do your own as well. You can customize your own controller. Uh, they also have like little performance mods and little tweaks that you can actually change on the controller. You can pretty sure you can like swap. You know, you can do all kinds of things on these controllers. So even if you're not looking, looking to buy, definitely go check out their website. There'll be a link down below in the description. Um, I'm pretty sure it's EvilController's.com. If you can't click it in the description, you can copy and paste it or whatever. Uh, so go check them out, if nothing else. And if you did enjoy this video and you maybe want some more videos like this of like little accessories, 
Um, then yeah, make sure you show your support, click that like button, add it to your favourites, spread it around. The better this video does, uh, the more inclined I'll be to uh, get hold of other companies, to perhaps get hold of review models. It's pretty hard to come by, you know, to get people actually to um, send you stuff, so i just like to say a huge thank you to Evil Controllers for sending me this model, and uh, I really do appreciate it. So thank you very, very much, and I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for uh, watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.